Let me ask you something. Is it so much to ask to have an AI video of a cat eating a cheeseburger? Well, if you have 16 gigabytes or less of VRAM, apparently that is pretty tough to accomplish. I have driven myself mad over the past, I don't know how many months, trying to get open source video solutions to work, and it's tough. I think I'm going to have to upgrade my graphics card. But until then, the search continues. The first project I tried and I think is one of the most promising is COG Video, but it needs like 20 gigabytes of VRAM to work, so I couldn't run it. I should also mention that I'm on an AMD card, so in addition to second-class support for this stuff, I have to deal with things like not having X-Formers, which saves on memory. So I'm at a double disadvantage here. But that does mean if I can get it working on my card, pretty much anybody can, provided they have enough VRAM. The next thing I tried was Mochi, and based on the demos that I saw, everything looked really good. Uh, I specifically tried the Comfy UI wrapper for it because it lets you tweak a lot of different settings that affect VRAM, and I did get it just barely working. You know, it used all of my VRAM to produce the glorious resolution of 576 by 368 pixels, and this is the kind of output that I got. Not exactly the same as the demos that are doing 720p. So after that, I moved on to Pyramid Flow, which is so far the thing that works for me the mostest. If you want to check it out, there's a free demo on Hugging Face. You don't have to install anything or sign up, you just try it out. I tried running the main repository for Pyramid Flow, but I got some cryptic errors that I don't quite understand, and, and I didn't see anything in the GitHub issues that addressed my specific problem. But fortunately, there is a comfy UI wrapper for it, and that works just fine. It's really easy to use as well. All I have to do is install it with the comfy UI manager and download the models that it says to download on the GitHub page. It comes with example workflows, and they just work. There are two different models you can use, one that generates images at a resolution of 1280 by 768 pixels, and the lower resolution model, which generates at 640 by 384 pixels. Despite my best efforts, I just could not get the 768 pixel model to run on my card. Just not enough VRAM for it. And I tried everything. CPU offloading didn't work. Reducing the resolution didn't work. I tried 576p. Um... I do not recommend changing the resolution at all because it will just output mustard gas. Actually, I don't recommend changing any of the settings except for maybe the number of steps because changing stuff like the config scale too much will also output mustard gas. And despite the fact that there is a 5 second mode and a 10 second mode, really it's the 5 second one that I can get to work consistently. The 10 second one sometimes runs out of VRAM. So really when I mean it works, I mean it barely works. There are two different modes of operation. First is text to video and second is image to video. Personally, I'm more interested in image to video. Text to video is fine, but I want to make something custom in stable diffusion and then have that turn into a video. As I mentioned before, this is a fairly low resolution of 640 by 384 pixels, so naturally you may be wondering, can this be upscaled effectively? And the answer is, sort of. If you want 1080p resolution, that's a 2.75x upscale. That's a little bit much for my taste. When I was using older tech like Animate Diff, I was able to generate at a 576p resolution, and that was like a 1.8, 1.9x upscale to 1080p. That wasn't so bad, but 384p is just a little bit shy of what I need. It really is a shame that I can't run the 768p model, because that would be perfect. But I do have hopes that in the future I'll be able to offload more to the CPU so that people like me and people with even lower VRAM requirements can run this. I really do not mind at all waiting a long amount of time for this stuff. For Animate Diff, I was used to running things overnight, so I really don't care. 
I just want my video of a cat eating a cheeseburger. But that's all I've got for today. If you give Pyramid Flow a chance, let me know what you think of it. And if you know of any other solutions that let you run on low amounts of VRAM, let me know. I'm willing to try out new stuff. But as always, thank you for watching and have a nice day.